So this is loquat, <clears throat> and um, a little fruit, as you can see. It's kind of like a miniature peach, and they're very tasty. And the green ones here, slightly green ones, are kind of bitter. So if you like green apples or sour apples and stuff like that, you'll love these. It would make a great candy, and we're going to make rock candy with these, but not today. So <clears throat> I've just basically <clears throat> shucked a whole bunch, and now i put them in a pan, and I've covered it with brown sugar. And I was all, I've also grated some ginger on it. So I'm making a ginger biwa jam. So I've put it basically on a medium heat, like on a three there, on the rear. And I don't measure, I don't do quantities, any of that stuff. So I seriously, I just put a layer of brown sugar. And then I'm going to basically put this pot over it. And you can see here, well... This, this uh, lid doesn't quite fit, um, and it's going to help push it down as it cooks. It's going to push it down um, on there. Maybe I should put a lid that fits. I don't know. It's probably fine. Get it nice and hot in there. So tonight is cooking of Biwa tea and also Biwa jam. So... We have a hot water, cold water dispenser, and I'm going to put this Biwa tea on it and show you what we're going to do with it. So what you can do is put your Biwa tea in one of these Alhambro's coolers. And now the cool thing, I can have ice cold or hot Biwa tea. So all of a sudden I've made tea with this water that then I put back on this dispenser and now I have hot or cold tea. There are so many different things you can do. Make your own tea, make your own jam, all these different things. And even you can be creative on how you dispense it. So I'm gonna go try some BYT from this dispenser.